guys, so today I want to do a different kind of video, and I have my friend Yuri with me, and we are going to do girl talk where we answer questions, and the girl talk is going to be about friendship, so I wrote down five questions, and we're going to answer them how we would deal with the situation, and hopefully it would help you in your life if you've ever dealt with these problems or you are going through them right now. So, the first question is, you want to read it? Yes. <laughs> Okay, you have two friends, and they get along with you, obviously, but they don't get along with each other. What do you do? So when I was younger, I went through this problem where I had two friends who didn't really like each other. They were very different. One was more tomboy. She always wanted to be a boy growing up. And then I had one friend who was very, very girly and kind of more... Um, like richy rich like she had everything that she wanted and the other one was a little bit more poor so they always clashed and I always found it really difficult I just decided which one I decide which one I liked better at the end because the um, richy rich one like was kind of annoying in a way because she was kind of demeaning I went with the one friend but I think I deal with it differently now <laughs> Well, I would say just try and keep them away from each other, hang out with them separately, um, but give them both equal time. And But however, if they're hating on each other and saying bad things about each other, just remind them that they're both your friends and that you love them both, and while you don't mind hearing about the problems, you would like it if they just try to respect each other. Two, what if I feel jealous of my friend or vice versa? Um, if it's, if it's, um, look-wise, I guess, just go shopping with that friend. If they're, if I'm jealous of them, I think I would be adult enough to say, hey, I love what you're wearing, let's go shopping together, I can't figure it out on my own. And if they mention something, then you go shopping with them and help them figure it out. If it's, um... If it's, you're just jealous of the life they have, or they're jealous of the life you have, I don't know. My friends and I, I guess, we always tell each other when we're jealous. Oh like, God. if they do something, we're like, oh my god, I'm so happy for you. But I'm also jealous. But it's a good jealous. I guess just try and get motivated to reach those goals for yourself. Because you're probably only unhappy because you aren't trying to achieve those goals, or you aren't really going after them so it, and I know myself I'm really scared of doing certain stuff and you can always get your friend to help you like I always get my sister to help me out with stuff if it's clothing like you said you could have the person go shopping with you and help you figure out what clothes to get like, if you want a flat stomach and you're jealous of your friend with it just like try and cut out the carbs I guess and start exercising and um, just exercise with your friend again. So like, if you're jealous of that friend, just work with them to try and better yourself. Because yeah. if they're your real friend, they'll actually help you. And if they're not your real friend, then you shouldn't be jealous of them anyway because they're not <laughs> worth your time. So. Okay, what if I move around a lot and I don't make friends with you? Some places I haven't been able to make friends just because I don't really put myself out there. So I think uh, in those circumstances, it's more my own fault because I don't try and like go out. I'll just be like sitting at home <laughs> and I'll just be hanging out with my boyfriend or whatever. Um, so I think it's easy to fall into like that kind of trap where you're just too shy or too unmotivated to do anything. But I think if you actually put yourself out there, you're going to be surprised and find a lot of nice people. And you're always going to find one person. Even if you don't find, yeah. like, 50 friends, you're probably going to find, like, one person who has a similar taste. I would say just go. Is there any place you can volunteer at your town? Just go and do that. You know, volunteer for a church or something. Even if you're not religious, sometimes they do, like, uh, rummage sales or something. You can mm -hmm. meet someone that That's way. That's a good idea. It gets you out and you can meet people. Four, how do I tell my friend she has a bad odor? Uh, we were talking about this earlier, and um, you said the mint thing. Yep. And that's, that's a good idea if it's, uh, I guess, breath related, just give them mint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just casually give them mints all the time and gum, 
And I even said, like, you could, um, you know those disposable toothbrushes? You can let it accidentally <laughs> fall out of your purse and be like, oh, these are awesome. Have you used these? But don't be, like, overly mean because you really can offend someone if you're, like, blatantly, you stinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not taken a shower in 12 days or... Yeah, just try and be as nice about it as possible. And if it does get to the point where you really need to tell them because it's getting really bad, just like sit them down to talk and just try and be as honest about it as possible. But if they get mad, then just like, you know, step away from the situation for a little bit and give them time to cool down. <laughs> um, I agree with you. It's just, um, it depends on the friendship, I guess, and how open you are about stuff in the end. Yeah. But definitely. If they're your friends, you don't, it, I think it's better if it comes from you than somebody else. I've never really thought anybody else smelled bad. It was more of a... I was wearing the secret deodorant and I guess the fresh kind smells like baby butts. So <laughs> I had someone tell me that. But I they didn't, tell, they didn't say it smelled bad or anything. They just said I, it smelled like baby butts. So, <laughs> clean baby butt. <laughs> okay, so we all have a flaky friend, right? So this one is, I invite my friend, she says yes, but she doesn't show. She, uh, what do I do? In my experience, I, I was, I'm trying not to be the flaky friend anymore, but I was the one that was the flaky friend. And um, I would suggest, uh, I guess you should talk to the friend. My friends always told me, when in the end they started telling me that I was always flaking on them and stuff and I was like, oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> so I started not to flake on them, but anyways, um, if they're flaking on you, I suggest just make plans with multiple friends. That way if they don't show, your plans aren't ruined and you can still go out, you can still have a fun time and just give them a time limit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Especially for Yuri being my special guest, and thank you so much for watching, and, um, and, um, <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> Alright, love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye!